In this example, we're going to derive the position function if a ball is thrown upward, and we're assuming we're on Earth, with an initial velocity of v naught, and that's going to be measured in meters per second, from an initial height of h naught, and the height will be measured in meters. Okay, so we're going to use the fact that the acceleration due to gravity on Earth is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and we're also assuming that the object is moving through a vacuum, so there's no uh, so there's no drag uh, effect on the ball. Okay. So to do this, we're going to start with um, we're going to start with the acceleration. Okay. And then we're going to take the integral of that. Okay. We're going to do the antiderivative. Okay. So that's going to give us the velocity function. And then we're going to take the integral of that, and that's going to give us the position function. Okay. All right. So first, let's find the velocity function. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take the integral of negative 9.8. Okay, so we're going to have, let, it's called V of t. Okay, so this is dependent on time. Okay, so V of t will be equal to the integral of negative 9.8 dt. Okay. Okay, so this is going to give us V of t equals to negative 9.8 t plus constant. Okay, so we need to use our initial value uh, to find this constant. Okay, all right, so we said that uh, we're given, in the problem we're given that the initial velocity is v naught. Okay, all right, so we're going to use Okay, the initial velocity, so that's the velocity when, uh, when t is equal to zero, or close to zero, okay? Okay, so we have v of zero, so when t is zero, we get the initial velocity. So this is gonna be equal to negative 9.8 times zero, plus c, okay, and remember v of zero is equal to v naught, okay, so we have v naught okay, so v naught is equal to negative 9.8 times zero, so that's going to leave us with the constant. Okay, so our function is, we have V of T equals to Okay, so V of T is equal to negative 9.8 T plus V naught. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and find the position function. Okay, we're going to do that by taking the integral of the velocity. Okay. All right, so we're going to have, let's call this, uh, let's call this S. Okay. So S will be the position function. Okay. Which is going to be a function of, a function of time. So f of t is going to be equal to the integral of v of t. So we're going to take the integral of that respect to t. Okay, so that's going to give us s of t equals to the integral of minus 
t plus v naught dt. All right. So s of t, that's going to give us negative 9.8 t squared over 2. So using the power rule for integration plus v naught. We take the integral v naught with respect to t. So remember v naught here is a constant, so we're going to get v naught times t plus another constant here. Okay. So up here, I call this, let's just call this C1. Here I'll call this C2. Okay. So not to confuse the two constants. All right, so this is going to simplify to give us S of t equals to negative 4.9 t squared plus v naught times t plus c2. Okay, so we're going to use, right, so we need to use our initial value to find c2. So we're going to use our initial value for the, uh, for the initial height. Okay, so we know the initial height, so that's the height of the object at time at t equals zero. Okay, so we're going to use h naught to find c2. Okay, so up here was c1. Okay, all right, so that's that says that we right, we're going to have okay, s0. So when t is 0, we're going to get negative 4.9 times 0 squared plus v naught times 0 plus c2. Okay? So since s 0, okay, so this initial height at time at t equals 0 is going to be h naught. Okay, so H naught we're going to get is going to be equal to C2. Okay. Okay. Again, S of zero is the initial height, and we're and we're given that in the problem that is given as H naught. Okay. Okay, so we have everything. We have C1 and C2. So our position function is going to be S of t equals to negative 4.9 t squared plus okay, v naught times t plus C2, which was h naught. Okay, so this is the position function. Okay, that we uh, that we that we wanted to derive. Okay. All right. So if we're given the initial velocity and we're given initial height, and we're assuming that we're working in the uh, vacuum and we're on, and basically we're working on Earth, uh, then we can plug those values into here and get our uh, get get the position function for that object. Okay.